standing tall in the corner of the ballroom, you feel cool and aloof, unsure if you look the part of the hero or the villain. The open window nearby causes your black cape to rustle, and the champagne in your hand is light and delicious, dancing on your tongue. All around you are nobles in puffy gowns and suits, twirling on the floor like music box figurines. A woman in a red gown catches your eye, her long hair swaying behind her with each step. You take a sip of your drink as she moves towards you, smirking. She stalks you from across the room, closing the distance between you both before the musicians are done playing their first song. She clinks her glass against yours and dips into a polite curtsy. And here is where the Empress's court necromancer is lurking. You seem a shadow in your dark robes. And is that a cape? Oh, be still, my beating heart. No wonder the court is full of rumors that you're a vampire. Oh, it's nothing worth frowning over, I assure you. Though I do like the way your eyebrows knit together when I say that word. Vampire. You've been so scarce outside of court, you can hardly blame the speculation. I must say, I feel like quite the hunter, finding you like this. Does the Empress let you go outside at all? Ah. Then, does she let you dance? Naturally. Oh, don't mind my barbs. This is how all conversation is done at court. Every noble has a tongue as sharp as a sword. Really, I'm being quite gentle with you. My name is Priscilla, by the way. Priscilla Vion. You're charmed, I'm sure. I know I am. I adore strong, silent types. Will you let me do all the talking on the dance floor as well? That means I'm asking you to dance, by the way. Follow me. And there we are. A hand on my hip. Please. Don't be so shy. A firm grip on my hand as well. Thank you. How's your footwork? The band is nearly asleep. I don't think this will be much of a challenge, so don't worry. And breathe. One, two. Three, one, two, three. There, your footwork isn't so bad. Though you'll have to get better at dancing if you want to thrive in the Empress's court. Why? Because secrets are traded on the dance floor. Can't you see? Look over my shoulder. To the right, near the champagne fountain, do you see Lord Simon dancing with Lord Rubus? The two of them are not friends. 
So why share a dance so early into the night? Mmm. You see it, don't you? They're talking, and neither of them look very happy. But it's hard to make out what they're saying, with the masks and the lights and the artifice. And even if you danced closer, you wouldn't hear them over the din of the music. It makes for surprisingly private conversation. Doubtless, you've been in the palace long enough to hear that the walls have ears. It's true, every word. There's false walls, servants running about, doing laundry and all other manner of dusting and nosy work. Of course, I don't take any chances. There's a saying in my family. It is possible for two people to keep a secret, but only if one of them is dead and out of reach of a necromancer. <laughs> You're frowning. Would you rather I lie to you? Tell you that there is no danger at court and all the nobles collaborate happily. That would be far more insulting to you, I think. Power structures like ours are far more delicate than people realize. Guile is the lifeblood of any noble family. Now, I think I've lectured you long enough. Won't you spin me, please? I wish to see the ballroom and who else is dancing. That was delightful, thank you. Such strength in your hands. It's unexpected and I adore it. Are your hands steady too? Embalming is a delicate surgery, no? Finding the veins, replacing the fluid, such a unique craft. It's almost a shame. Years of schooling, and then they send you to the palace, expecting you to be a politician as well. It's unfair to leave you so unprepared. Don't worry, there's that frown again. I'm sure I can teach you all about your new position. Oh? Am I squeezing your hand too tightly? That's just how you know I'm sincere. Or maybe it's because I'm not ready to let you go. Keep dancing with me. Hold me closer. No one else was brave enough to ask you for this dance. So keep me for another song. What's that? Only if I tell you why they're all so scared of you. Oh, I'm sure that's a complicated answer. I'll tell you, but only if you dance us closer to the couple near the chocolate fountain. That's my cousin, and she's been particularly insufferable this evening. I don't know if you've seen her when the Empress holds court and you're beside the throne. She looks up at you with these big, doe eyes. But I have no sympathy for people who pine. You need to ask for the things you want. Longing accomplishes nothing. But to answer your question, why are people scared of you? Yes, even people like my cousin who pine. I'm sure it's because you wear dark clothes and keep to yourself. Because you carry coffins and raise the dead. Because you're neither a noble or a servant, and people fear the dead and what they can't easily identify. But of course I'm different. I enjoy a good mystery. A good challenge. But some people can't cope. 
I think my red dress looks brighter next to your black cape, and they swish together beautifully. Can't you see? Look at the mirror over my shoulder. Sometimes it's better to contrast than to match. I think we look beautiful, side by side. isn't good. Lord Rubus just broke a wine glass over that man's head. No, no, come with me. This is going to get ugly. Yes, quickly now. A moment, necromancer. I need a moment to catch my breath. What a waste of good champagne and glassware. Thank you for fleeing with me. There will likely be a duel and I can't stand them. Oh, God, it's cold, though. And I'm without my coat. Would you hold me, court necromancer? Please. You're warm, and I half expected you to be cool to the touch, like a vampire. Would you kindly put your arm around my shoulder? Oh, that's perfect. We'll have to stay out here until things either die or die down. And I have no intention of leaving this hard one embrace. Yes, it would appear you're my captive now. Mmm, perfect. I want to pass the time by listening to you. Tell me what you think of the court so far, and then I want to hear your entire life story. Don't worry. I'll pay close attention. I'm thoroughly enraptured. The end. Thank you for listening to my story and for giving me a reason to write it. If you liked this audio, please hit the like button and subscribe so you can be notified when I've written a new adventure for you. Please take care of yourself and rest well. Good night.